Hey guys, so I had this idea. So I was thinking, what if you don't want to get shave gear online? What if you want to buy locally? Is there any way for you to get a decent wet shave without having to order through the internet? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. We're going to go to one of the local shops and let's see if we can get some decent wet shave gear. Alright guys, so we're here. So where am I? I'm at my local Target. Let's see what we can find. No, 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 no. Hmm. Nope, not what we're looking for today. But down here, seventeen ninety nine. Van der Hergen razor. Looks like a twist to open. All right, we'll check that. Let's see what else we got. Um, $25 Van de Hagen set. Bore shaving set. Looks like it comes with soap, brush, stand, and a cup. How you doing? Sure, no problem. Okay. All right, so I pretty much got kicked out of the store. <laughs> I'm not kicked out, but they don't want me to record in the store, which I totally understand. It's not like I'm gonna do anything wrong, but so I'm gonna pick these products up and we'll catch it outside. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So that didn't go as planned, but I was able to pick up. The Van der Hagen brush set with soap and cup. And I was also able to pick up the Van der Hagen twist to open razor and some Nivea's Pope Shade Bomb. So we're gonna take this back to the house and let's see if we can get a decent shave. So in the haste, I left my keys. Let's see if we can find them. Got my keys. All right guys, so I'm back home now. So, ooh, it's dark. So what we're gonna do is I'm um, gonna have dinner, have some family time, and then take a shower and we'll get the shave on. So I'm back home, just got out the shower. Face is nice and clean, 
hydrated. We're ready for this shit with the Van der Hagen products. So to start off, the razor is pretty good quality. It has nice weight to it. it has nice chromine. Um, sort of like reminiscent of a classic Gillette Vintage Super Speed. Um, nice knurling to be able to hold on to. Um, good lockup, nice and tight. As far as the Van der Hagen blade, seems sharp. Um, I've tried one out before, so let's give this one a shot. See how it is. I've had the soap grooming in the mug that it comes with. It's a nice decent mug. So it's a good starter set if you don't have anything. So what I'm gonna do is just throw some of this bloom water on my face and get the shave going. Soap has a nice smell to it. So let's see how it lathers up. We're gonna be using the Van der Hagen brush that comes in the set as well. Um, some of the hairs have been coming out, so let's see how it does. Um, doesn't have too much backbone to it. Fairly soft brush. It is kind of scruffy though. So I can see the soap is gonna lather up really good. It's making a nice lather already. Yeah, it's kind of going all over the place. Probably had too much water in there to begin with in the brush, but that's all right. We can always just add more soap to it. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna try it out. See how it goes. Very sharp blade. As you can see, the hairbrush is kind of lighting out some hairs. Partly because it's newer. Hopefully, that stops. very sharp blade you can feel it i don't know if you can hear it but i could definitely feel it cutting those hairs away All right guys, that's the first pass. Fairly smooth. Still have a couple of areas I need to trim down. So I'll get that with the second pass. I always like to do two passes. One with the grain and one cross grain. I never go against. My face is just too sensitive.
overall guys, I think this razor did really good. If it's your first razor, if you don't have any other option but to buy local, I think it's a good choice. It gives you a good shave. The razor blades are nice and sharp. The brush has a good scent. Pretty good lather. Good slickness to it. Um, the one drawback or negative I think is this brush. Doesn't have the best back bone. A lot of the hairs are still coming out. Um, we'll see how that works out. But overall, as I said, I think you can go wrong as a spare or to have for traveling. So um, check it out, guys. Van der Hagen Shave Set at your local Target. Can't go wrong. All right, guys. So to finish off the shave, we're going to try out some Pinol aftershave. Classic. You can get this pretty much anywhere. Your local stores. Oh, it has a really good classic barbershop scent. And we're also going to try the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shake Balm. Just really good to bring some of that moisture back into the face. So we're going to try some of that. Oh, feels really good, guys. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.